Welcome to Hoffman Engineering. So today I have a D&D campaign that I'm running, and I thought it'd be really cool if I printed out um, little mini figs for everyone. So I found these. These are the, from the Flat Mini series. They're on Thingiverse. I'll link to it down below. Um, and so I printed out a bunch of these. This is the last wave. I've been printing about nine per print bed on my Maker Farm Prusa i3b. Um, and if you take a look here, they're actually pretty detailed. Um, I think this, this is a Town knight, and you can see it has armor and it has the shin guards and everything like that. And they're completely flat. They're printed in um, two pieces. This is printed, and then the base was printed as well. And then you just kind of press fit them together. But what I'm going to do is, since this press fit isn't really strong, the tolerances on the design are kind of strange, um, I have some ABS slurry, and I've been gluing them together, and that's also how I've been attaching things like their shields and things like that. So I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to show you how I've been gluing them together. So to start, I took some pliers and I press fit them into the base. There's a little slot here that they fit into. And then I take some of the ABS slurry. I just have an old brush that I've been using. So I take some of the slurry, put it on the brush, and then I brush it on the edges. Be sure to actually get it down in there. And then along the sides, trying not to get it on the actual model, just on the, the base. And then under the front. And so that's kind of how I've been doing it. What, the, what this slurry does is since it's still, it's a mixture of the ABS plastic and acetone. And the uh, acetone that's still in the slurry will dissolve away some of the plastic on the model. And that'll join up with the dissolved plastic and it'll create a, a nice strong bond between them. Um, so it works pretty well so then for all the little uh, for the swords and shields and things like that I just put a dab of it on each of the uh, hands and then once that's on you can grab the uh, you can grab the sword and you can place the sword in his hand and you can grab the shield and you can place the shield also in his hand. Make sure to get the alignment right. And there you go. A nice little minifig all assembled, ready to be used in play. And it uh, looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do the rest of these and then I'll show you how many of them I've actually printed out for this campaign. So here's the finished product. All of these are the flat minis that I've been printing for a D&D campaign today. And uh, they're all glued, they're all ready, and I think it's awesome. I think it'll be a nice treat for the players that are playing and everything like that. It should make for a great experience. It only took about, I'd say about six hours to print three different sets of these. So I printed these in, in thirds and then it took about two hours for each of those. And then assembly time was maybe an additional 30 minutes or so. It didn't take that much time to press them, fit them together and then glue them in place. And I think they look awesome. So yeah, I definitely recommend this set if you're going to do any kind of tabletop roleplay. It's, it's some pretty cool stuff. So there you go.